This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. Things been going. This is uh, Casey Valley, the brother of Naomi, uh, Irion. Is it Irion? That's how you say it, right? Yeah, it's Irion. Yeah. So how is the uh, how of the searching? How was the searching when you? I think it was yesterday, right? And well, um, we didn't find yeah anything related, which is actually in my book a good thing. Yeah. Uh, this is just a, a one big 10 square mile area that Lyon County isn't going to have to worry about um, uh, using their resources uh, to go after, uh, at least not to the extent that, uh, and they were involved in everything like that, but we covered way more ground than they could on their own, for sure. Okay. Um, so what are, what are some of the things you can, is there stuff, that, I mean, there's a lot of rumors flying around now. Is there anything well, that you... um, what, what's, uh, what's the biggest one in your opinion? <laughs> oh. Let's talk about it. Okay, one of them is the, the like, a, let's see, a uh, harassment at work deal. Um, the FBI has been uh, all over Panasonic, so anything like that uh, is, has been and, and uh, is being run to the ground, so. Yeah, so if it is, it sounds like it's you know there's probably a good possibility that something like that happened, so that you know at least they're they are digging deep into that. So. Yeah, and and there was a few incidents Naomi told me about, and uh, the people involved, um, law law enforcement knows who all of they are, all of those people are, and yeah. That's that's been run to the ground, or is being run to the ground right now, and uh, yeah, every avenue like that, we're definitely looking into it for sure. And the and one thing that people might not realize is with my father being a government employee, the way he is, um, the FBI has been involved since before this became an abduction case. So. Hmm. Is there any way that's connected at all with what he does? Is that something they've looked at, or? You know? um, I'm not aware of any connection like that, but I feel like this would probably be handled differently. In yeah. The bus. All right. Yeah, I feel like I would probably be sitting next to a CIA agent right now if that was the case. So. Yeah. Well, let me let me show you something because uh, we were talking about the timing of the. The pickup truck, right? So we were talking about the pickup truck on the camera, and somebody, you know, observed like, "Great, it's light outside," but it doesn't get light till about six fifty-five. So if it was five in the right. morning, even if it was at the first dawn, that's still a long, you know, the the first uh, light. That's still a long period of time in between the abduction and the truck on the camera there. I don't know uh, any more than what's been released about the truck. Um, one, one, I do know a couple things actually that I can say uh, without uh, without re releasing anything in, unintentionally, and that's uh, this truck is either a 2021 or 2022. Uh, it's not a 2020. We can tell by the painted bumper. Okay. Uh, they start they started doing that in 2021, um, and between the painted bumper the chrome door handles and there's one other little tidbit and you heard it here first and it it has an either a, a sliding or retracting rear window hmm. and um, that's a dealer installed option it's very rare oh. uh, so that's an important thing that might be know. a good clue to track down somewhere yeah, yeah exactly and um that should be in a press release here soon um, 
and hmm. that's something that they've told me that oh, that's it's awesome. okay to do. Yeah, that's cool. So, that's, that makes it, I mean, that's old but, school police work right there. That's awesome right there. Yeah, and and uh, there's, I mean, every type of investigation work you can imagine is going on here. But as far as the timing of that shot, I mean, the public has deduced where exactly that shot was taken and what time exactly it was taken and all that stuff. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, and none of that's been released to me officially in any well, way. Well, let me show. You, let me just show you what I what I got. Okay, Do you mind? Okay. All right. So I'm yeah, gonna I'm, okay. I'm gonna flip over to. I'm not sure how we're set up on here, but you'll just see. I'm on the screen, but you're not on this one. Okay. So here's like a a mock of the, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this is a in a program called 3D Studio Max, and here is the. Uh, what is it, the Sherman, Sherwin Williams factory here, right? Okay, so yeah. if you go to the same area on Google Earth here, and let's say you go over here, and that's exactly where his car was, because if you go down to the ground here and take a look at it, let me just show you. Right here, there's this slanted part of a fence right there, and that's exactly the same image that we have in, uh, I think it's this one right here. So, well, you can barely see it, but see right there on the... Yeah. So that's the yeah. same spot, okay? So we got that, and then we also were able to, I just showed earlier on the show, exactly where her car was parked right against this fence right here. On yeah, the, it was a little bit more, uh, it was a little bit more to the west, at, kind of on the western side of that little... Like right here then, right there? No, a little bit more to the west. Over here? More. It was all the way to the edge of that dirt, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Weird, because I well, I've got it on a camera. Well, I, I'd have to show you what. Yeah, I've it, got, and but. it's kind of hard to see the pictures that the press did get. You know, they were from pretty far away. Uh, nobody was letting them get. Yeah, right. Yep. So this is right there. This is where the camera was that took the photograph, about yeah. right in this area. Actually, a little bit further back, because I've actually got the. Uh, they took a shot from like probably. Well, not that one. This one, maybe right there. Because you see this on the side. And it looked like the car was parked right over here. Yep, exactly. But it, it was, uh, yeah, over toward the end that's closest to, to where this perspective is. Okay. So we got yeah. that. But let me let me just go. Let's go back to the... And I was actually there. Um, I got there before the detectives told me about it, actually. So the detectives, because I saw in social media uh, that there was a bunch of police activity over there and I tore out of my house like a bat out of hell. There's black marks on the pavement from when I took off and, oh, wow. uh, and I got over there. Uh, they, they found it. Maybe it was two or 3 PM. I got there around four and I sat there and I waited for almost three hours until they opened the trunk of that car, you know, just hoping no. and praying. Yeah. We no, would thank find God. It yeah. There. You can just imagine. Yeah, it's a nightmare. You know, and and uh, I had a pry bar and a hammer, and they and they were holding me back, man. They were physically <laughs> holding me back. So yeah, that would, that would have been a nightmare. I needed to know. I needed to know. Yeah. yeah. So here, check. Take a look at this. So you see this? This is the truck, right? And see yeah. the see the shadows on there? How they go out and even a little slightly to the right of. Uh, being um, parallel with the road. See how they, they're kind of angled down slightly a little bit like that? Yeah. Okay, so now let's go over to Google Earth. I mean, not Google Earth, 3D Studio Max. I set this up just like I was telling you. Let me show you again. So here it is on the road. There's the vehicle, like a mock vehicle. I just sort of put a, you know, a rectangular cube and some wheels and then put a camera up right at that spot. And then we'll look through that. And then I have a, in this program, I have a sun system. So look over here on the right. I have it on 312. Now, I think that's the date that they filmed this. So 312, 2022, March. And then I have it at 320 in the afternoon. And watch when I render this. And it's also minus eight time zone, which is West Coast from Greenwich time. And now look at that, see that shadow right there? That's almost a, right. identical. See that? Yeah. And so, I mean, this program is really, really accurate. It's not. Uh, it's not some gimmicky 
thing. This is a, you know, I pay $1,500 a year to have this program. And that that appears to be the time, you know. It's, uh, right. Whether it's exactly 3.20 or not, I don't know, but it seems like it's between 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon when this image was taken right here. Yeah, and uh, like, I've, like I've said before, and I've said this a few times, and I know I told you before, yeah. but um, they haven't released to me the details of how this truck is connected, but um, I looked every detective and FBI agent, and I, I'm telling you, these FBI agents that are involved, they're like somebody out of a movie. They're very serious people. and uh, I mean, the detectives, they seem like normal guys, but these <laughs> these agents are uh it's like cliche almost right like <laughs> exactly it's like it's like being in a movie and yeah and i never want to be in a movie like this again i tell you that no. i hope the next movie i'm in is in something that's a comedy or something this is not yeah this no. is not fun well it's a nightmare but you know? yeah it's definitely it's my worst very worst nightmare and um well let me turn off my brightness here no, you're good Okay, uh, can you still see me? Okay, now okay. I can, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, anyways, I, I had every detective involved in this, and the my FBI agent contact looked me in the eye and tell me that they did believe that this was directly connected and that it was very important. And that's all I have. I have to trust the process. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're holding it back. They're holding that information back from us, the family, for a reason. Um, and I I have to trust and believe in that. And um, as much as we want to know what that is, um, yeah, yeah I, I can't, there was I can't some, say because I don't know. <laughs> there, was some, like, there was some kind of, there was like rumors today on the scanner too. Like somebody said that somebody called in or something. Did you hear anything about that? Like somebody, yeah, I, I heard about that, and as soon as as soon as that was posted, we were on the phone with the detective to figure out what was going on, and and they think it was probably something erroneous. Um, mm. I think I would have heard by now if it was serious. I'd probably be not on this call. Yeah, I was actually thinking that earlier. I was actually well when you didn't respond to a couple of my Facebook messages. I was like maybe, <laughs> and I'm just, but then you you that I have man i put down my phone yeah. for half minutes i have 30 notifications right now it's yeah i can days. imagine well i appreciate you responding to mine we're trying to so what what uh how are the i mean i guess you got a lot of people out there that were searching they uh, thankfully they didn't find her or anything like that um right but is there any more searches coming up or yeah there's gonna be another search this saturday and um and we're going to cover some more area uh, with the assistance of Lyon County Search and Rescue. Um, I'm not 100% sure what areas we're covering yet, but we're probably going to rally at the same spot. Um, and all that's publicly available uh, on the event page uh, for that Facebook. Um, and uh, we're not we're not releasing uh, where we're going to be searching before we get there that kind of thing so we're keeping all that close to the vest uh, until the day of okay that way there's no because uh, it's such a high profile thing so uh, somebody asked in the chat hey do we have any idea what the criminal the, the quote criminal activity in the car was I didn't I hadn't heard about that but I wish I knew did somebody mention was that mentioned somewhere about criminal activity um, I saw some things um, and I heard some things while I was on site but I can't talk about it Okay. But did somebody mention in the news there was criminal activity inside the car? I hadn't. I haven't. Uh, seen yeah, that. yeah. Okay. That 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 was actually in a Lyon County uh, press release uh, after they found the car. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. It's so inter It is interesting how he dressed, almost like he was didn't want to be. I mean, we don't know if he had gloves when he when he went to the car. Did you see if he had gloves on or anything like that? Because you. He probably took yeah, his hands out. You can't see it in the video. Too, late, I too looked, far I away. Looked at, I sat there in that Walmart security office, and I watched that video 
you know, trying to figure out any detail I could about this person. And honestly, all I got is that he's male, average build, average height. And that's, that's it. I can't even tell, yeah. you know, if he was white or, or right. anything Purple. else, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's got, and he's got a gray hoodie on of all, you know, just the most mundane yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely going. that. I mean, I've got conspiracy theories in my head, too, like everyone else. And, um, you know, in my mind, this seems like too clean of a job to be something that was random. Uh, it definitely looks like he was waiting there specifically for your sister. Um, you know, because you have that other car that pulls in there. He didn't even, he just, he started at the far corner, it looks like, walked right in front of the headlights, and then walked right. all the way over there. And he just stood up, then he stood there. Uh, let me ask you this though, because if you can, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's affecting anything, uh, but if you can't answer then great. But was, you know, during that whole time he's walking around, is her car already parked there? Um, I believe so. I mean, it's been a week since I seen the video in its entirety, um, but I believe that he was there before her car. Okay. And yeah, that's, um, so you can and, see it pull in then in part of the video you see her car come in then I would yeah, think yeah yeah I think so and honestly when I first saw this video as soon as I saw you know the guy uh, make his way over to the driver's side of the car and you know open the door and say or do something to Naomi to make her move over and I saw her body language from what you could tell with how grainy it was i mean because she's i've noticed over the years that she gets like you know uh jerky when she's scared you know that sort of thing and i could pick that up that body language uh you in this grainy video even it was obvious to me that what was going on was not consensual it was not something she was doing voluntarily so he definitely said or did something in order to make her move over hmm and um Jeez. and yeah i i don't know what to think about all that stuff it's but i stepped out of that security office right after that and my girlfriend actually uh sat there and, and with the walmart security and uh watched them pretty much compile the initial video for the sheriff because i stepped outside and that's and, uh, no, probably kind of emotional like geez. yeah plus there's bad cell signal in there so i had yeah. to go outside to get good cell signal so uh, well, let me ask you, him, so you know when he's standing there at the end like i've got it um let me see let me switch back over to this um right here so we've got it right at the end well like right now he's just standing there right and yeah, i and he's I, what definitely I do looking was, at her car there and i what i do is i put the car in there <laughs> you know i actually yeah. took the one still that has it and put it in there it's a little bit no. off you know but you know and that's a really good job. Can you send that to me? Yeah, let me, let me, um, I'm going to move this down a little bit. I think it's more like right there. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Yeah, that, that would be great if I could get that. I hope you don't mind if I smoke on your show. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. Okay, good. I know some people worry about that kind of thing, but I don't yeah. usually smoke, but I, I occasionally smoke and during this i smoke like a chain smoker so yeah so when he's standing there is her car right there too see uh, you got to keep in mind i'm putting a still frame so the car is going to be there the entire time in mine no her, her car came up while he was pacing okay uh, yeah while he was going back and forth on that yellow line there her car came up and then it, after she was sitting there for a couple minutes, he goes over there and looks. And this video cuts off before you can see it, but mm. shortly after he spots her like that, he makes a circuit around that portion of the parking lot, uh, maybe to make sure that there's no witnesses, that kind of thing. Hmm. And then he goes back to the original spot and looks at her again and then goes back around the backside of her car to the driver's side door hmm. and and uh i've already said the rest of what happened so where, where he's standing right here when he first when he first stood here just like he is right here 
Um, it, her car is there right at that point, right? But it, but, but yeah, it pulled up so. while he was kind of walking down, right? And then, yeah. he, then from here, does he walk like over here like this and do the loop, or does he kind of go around like that, or what? Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much how it went. It, like I said, it, I haven't seen the yeah. the whole video since uh, the moments before I called in the abduction. So, hmm. and um, so my my memory is a little a little hazy on those exact specifics, and I'm sure. I, and I'm gonna push to get more of this stuff released, and um, but I'm not. I don't know if this will ever be publicly available stuff. They definitely don't want to show, you know, yeah. the actual action. Mm -hmm. You know, because right. it's it's traumatic and it's unnecessary. But yeah, it's not gonna help anybody. Yeah. Um, but like over here, you know where that car is parked? Sorry for my dog. The um, this car is parked over here. And he didn't seem to care that much about... Yeah, he didn't care at all about that white car, which to me looks like it might be a Hyundai or a Kia hatchback. Yeah, it's maybe, got that like, slope maybe, back on it. Yeah, yeah maybe a mid-2000s, like a 2010 or something like that. I don't know what it is. And um, there's supposed to be a press release about that and if they haven't already found that person, which uh, to me, hmm. the lack of mention on that i think they found uh, her yeah. and because i had been talking to them about that car um and now that it's in the video i feel like it's okay to talk about a little bit of that car there yeah i actually they, think it's um probably another worker yeah i think it's probably yeah. it's either another panasonic worker yeah. or an, empl uh, an employee at walmart um, yeah exactly because they're, they're they're just and, pulling up and waiting too for something Right. right and if if anybody knows if if anybody if anybody listening to this or l watching this knows if, if anybody's been in that parking lot on that morning the 12th between 4 30 and 5 30 in the morning you know or they know somebody that has they need to get in touch with the lyon county sheriff's department and if they want to stay anonymous there is an anonymous tip line um and uh, that's publicly available on the Lyon County Facebook page and everything like that. So uh, I don't have the me the number memorized, but because uh, I got a million things going on. But um, hmm. we definitely want to talk to that person for sure because he that person definitely saw the suspect. Like ninety eight percent chance of that person. Well, they definitely saw the person, yeah. except they, you know, they, but they probably had a mask on a little slit for their eyes, you know, so it's like, even that, they saw him, but they're not going to know yeah. what the person looks like. And it was like, like it was like, uh, I don't know, you can't see it really good in that video, but it, it looked like it was like a black, like a COVID mask, like a, mm -hmm. you know, like a face mask somebody would wear during COVID. Mm -hmm. So that would go all the way up Which is weird, here. because here in Nevada especially here in the reno and in uh, and especially in the friendly area almost no one is wearing masks around here right now so, right yeah but it's still not that weird these days it's not it's not weird enough to be like this guy's yeah. wearing a mask let's call the police no yeah. definitely not yeah hmm. it, but it, it could it should definitely stand out so if that person was there and they saw that then they they would be able to maybe give some more identifiable information on that person have they looked at anybody like i mean you said that she was dating you know maybe just dating different people or whatever they've probably yeah. looked on her social media and tried to find any of those people too they have all that they've got it all they have, right? they have all of it and as far as i know um yeah i can't i can't really talk about it very much uh because i've been really involved with that yeah and I know a lot of stuff that I can't say, but just just know that I have confidence that, that that's either ran to the ground already or being run to the ground as we speak. Well, good. Well, it's good to know that they're... You're, are you appreciating their work at this point now that you've they got the FBI yeah. in there and like, whoa, look at that, you know? All the work since, since Tuesday afternoon has been great. I, I, I have no... I have very little criticisms i mean they took a while to get the, the video out 
which I had been asking for that for three days before they did it, which I thought was a long time. Um, and, and they've been talking about press releases coming out and stuff like that. And there's some stuff that I really wish they would put out freaking yesterday that might help the public, um, assist with this investigation and that's my main gripe right now i'm not going to talk about what that stuff is because i'm trying i'm doing my best to trust this process here yeah and and everything like that so just everybody that's listening like please bear with us well it sounds kind of cool that they're keeping no, you no you're, one no you're one in the loop, wants you know yeah I, i'm way more in the loop than i should be and a lot of stuff but um <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I think family should be more into the loop, you know. Like, uh, yeah, it's hard though because every extra person you add is another person that could say something. Yeah, yeah. That that you know costs Naomi's life, right? So, and that's and, and I don't mean I'm I'm not I don't have anything against anybody when I'm saying that I can't talk about something. It's it's life or death, you know. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and let me ask you something. On the surveillance footage uh, that I that we have here, and I, you know, I added the car from one of the still frames. Is there actually a little bit even more? Like you can see above the car in the real footage that's out there. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. Like you can see. Yeah, it's like, definitely cropped up, as you can tell. So, we, but even the images they released that show the car. That was crop too, even right. There's more space above the car, like another ten, uh, like five feet or like you can see air above it because right now it cuts off the roof of the car. Yeah, on, on what I had. I, it might be. I, you know, I can't say positively yes or no. I'm I'm not sure. Okay. It, like I said, the last time I looked at this video was the moment before I called an abduction in, so it's a bit of a blur, honestly. Yeah, well, you should be proud of yourself for run, going over there and checking the surveillance footage, and uh, you know, like you boom, know, at, got the ball at rolling. At that point, nobody, nobody else was going to do that. So, uh, or at, like, at least not in a timely fashion, uh, with the way that the investigation was being handled at that point. Because yeah, and I don't want to go into that because I don't want to distract from the main goal of um finding naomi but uh just know that i i am aware <laughs> and a lot of people have talked about how the first 36 hours went and uh yeah lion county sheriff's department is a very aware of that too and things are being taken care of internally for now uh, and we can talk more about that later yeah, that'd be, I mean, be. Let's find Naomi first. Finding Naomi is my number one goal. I don't even care about prosecution. This guy could walk free. I don't care. I don't care. I'm I just want my her. sister right now. I want her back now. It's really, it's kind of a, it's um, a bizarre set of circumstances too. You know, you got, uh, you know, she gets abducted, and then if that image is, I mean, I'm. Well, certain that that image of the pickup is at three if yeah. on a day i don't know what day that is I, I i don't know for sure but i i believe you know your technology and everything it sounds you make a convincing argument but i haven't been told like i said but yeah it's really really odd so is there anything uh, let me see anybody else have anything out there anything you want to share that maybe we didn't talk about um I just want to thank everyone, like the the community, the true crime community, the the friendly community. That I mean, when I was out at the public search yesterday, it was about over seven hundred people signed in. Wow! And there was people out there that hadn't signed in, so it, it was a, it was more than that. And and just like there was people from Texas, from East Coast states, from all over California and Washington and Idaho and i i was i mean i was over i obviously watched obviously the sh the sheriff's department was overwhelmed too and it took them like two hours to get everybody together and everybody was so patient and everything like that and um my my father led a prayer before we got out and um it was uh 
wow it was it was so touching to me that there were so many people that cared and uh and just just that just showing because like the depravity of somebody that the or if i said that right i'm not sure but um sound pretty good that that level of evil of of taking someone's sister wife daughter you know and, and naomi wasn't married but you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. um like taking a person like a person you know and the evil that's around that and you know whatever they're doing with her now or have done or whatever like there's that level of evil but there's also such so many good people out there over 700 like i said there's at least that many good people in the world and and as far as i know there's there's very there's less than that of extremely bad people that are doing this kind of thing so and in the outpouring of the community i got so much food at my house right now i don't have room in the fridge like i was just in a zoom meeting with my family and a bunch there was like eight people out and they all had bags and all this care items you know like uh you you name it they brought it Um, that's awesome there's little kids making cards Uh, there's people handing out flyers there's man I think that's I one can. of the beauties of living in, in a smaller town, too. You know, I, I don't, big cities I don't, don't really know like it's that. It's just a small town thing because yeah. there's people coming here and helping that are from all over, like I said. But well, I mean, the food baskets, you know. Yeah, yeah, the food <laughs> baskets. Are Those are probably local. But. Yeah, but I don't know what they put in the water out here, but the the women, especially in Fernley, in this area, are so strong and so loving and they have made us family and wow that's awesome i i can't thank them enough i don't know how to thank them and um the the guys that have organized the search uh those guys i don't know them from adam you know uh and it's it's a gentleman that had his father go missing and ended up being murdered and all this stuff and and he's he's taken us in his family and he's doing so much right now there's a lot of people that have taken time off work and, and like all this stuff and then there's you know my my work and everything has been my my job told me that um you know i work at apple and, and they told me hey this is your job you're gonna we're you're gonna do this until it's done and, oh, look, uh, that's very cool. It's amazing. It's I, I didn't I didn't know that anything like this was possible. I, any anything that's happened since Sunday night, you know, Saturday morning, Sunday night, you know, it's it's unreal. I I feel like I'm li- like I said, living in a movie, living in a dream, a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, missing, I always say missing persons cases are the worst because it's just, you know, there's no answer. You're just always in a weird state of limbo, kind of, right? Like, a, yeah. you're always waiting for something, but you, you know, and then, I don't know. It's really frustrating for, I know, families. And I think, I don't know, I think out of all the different, like, even when there's murders and people, have they find the person the the body and everything like that though that's actually it's horrific but at the same time there's an answer to something when there's somebody missing and it goes on and on and on like the ones that go on for decades i mean those people just sit there in a state of limbo for all those years i mean it's just unbelievable so that's why i I hope there's an answer for that yeah every every time my phone buzzes man my heart jumps because any any moment we could find Naomi, any moment. Yeah, well, that's definitely true. I mean, people are listening to the scanner, and hopefully that I works. Mean, almost, almost all the activity in in like a three or four county area is related to this case right now. It's it's crazy. Hmm. 
Yeah, that was that huge. That's a huge desert area you guys were checking out. So. Yeah. Yeah, and we were out today checking some other areas. Um, just uh, and my 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 father was out. Um, you know, checking some other places that maybe you know there's trafficking and stuff and just putting flyers out everything like that and yeah we're we're not gonna rest until this is until we find Naomi and bring her home and uh and we're dedicated and this this community is is dedicated and we're not yeah we're absolutely not gonna stop well i'll tell you what you can come on here whenever you feel like it you know just send me a message and boom we'll just have you come on if you want to put out new information or anything like that yeah sure thing i wish i had more to put out honestly well, i don't want but, you to give us anything um, that affects the investigation but anything that you feel yeah. like well i mean come on. knowing that the car is cropped i mean you know it's not really yeah no anything. you no i i uh and i appreciate what you're doing too and it any anything to spread awareness right now and to and to uh help clarify things and to you know maybe maybe you know there's there's a lot of conspiracy theories and stuff out there there's a lot of crazy stuff and the more of that that we can squash the better because the focus needs to be finding her you know? yeah so i don't know where you know my my theory basically is 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 that uh, there you go my theory is that the car was parked at um uh, Sherwin Williams, his vehicle. The truck? Yeah, his yeah. truck. Yeah, his truck, not car. And then he walked, you know, like 0. 0.6 miles over to the parking area, waited specifically for her, abducted her in her car, and then I don't have a clue what happened there, but I think he then at some point drove back with her car, parked it at Sherwin Williams, got out of her vehicle, got into his truck that was sitting there, and then drove it uh, east away down that road that's all i know and that's the only and i don't know of anything i don't know of anything solid that would conflict with that theory honestly yeah so and it, so well, that's I think a, it was, that yeah. seems like a good a, a good theory as any to me uh, or maybe one of the best theories out there right now and and i tend to agree with that theory uh, so far yeah i'm just trying to use the you know just the logic part i don't like doing jumping into a conspiracy right off, you know unless there's no. something that points to yeah it. And, and, you know. and to me to me it seems that this person knew what he was doing and, and uh and he had planned it out um and it seemed like mm -hmm. maybe it wasn't his first time because like he never looks up at the security camera he walks from off the property and all that stuff and, and a lot of people are saying oh maybe it's a crime of opportunity and people keep talking about uh oh we heard the guy was homeless and i i was really upset with uh with that part of that press release when they when yeah. they went out of their way to mention that homeless that place camper and yeah, it's irrelevant those yeah. those guys there are they're just they're just there they've always been there as far as i know as long as i've lived there here and yeah I don't think they had anything to do with it. I know that they've all been talked to at this point, and I, I, I don't think there's any credence to that. And also, when's the last time you saw a homeless guy with a one or two year old truck? Well, or of course a you one, can. <laughs> a one truck, a one year or brand new. There are homes you can buy for seventy thousand in some places. I mean, it's like it's not yeah, far I mean, off. And around <laughs> here, that's an eighty thousand dollar truck for sure. Yeah, so there you and go. Vehicles are pretty expensive around here. I mean, assuming it was a local person, uh, like a local homeless person, like it doesn't make any sense. So he wasn't a homeless person, uh, and I I feel like I can say that pretty pretty assuredly at this point, but. Uh, it seems to me like he knew what he was doing and it was planned it definitely looked like that and but. maybe maybe he knew her i don't know maybe he w was just maybe he had just cased that area and saw that there was somebody with a routine that was an easy target because she was in her phone you know something like that 
and yeah it could be somebody and, like she communicated with and on i mean my well just a random theory would be like somebody that was on one a dating app or something and and maybe he was interested maybe they even met one time and you know she gave him a little too much information about herself but she wasn't interested in the person right and then maybe he's tried to get a hold of her so he got a little bit like hey you know and then he then he knew what her routine was through a conversation or yeah, somebody she and, works I mean, with you know i mean there's a lot of different theories you could come up with but. that's definitely possible it wouldn't be unheard of if something like if it was something like that yeah definitely i wish i knew man yeah i wish i knew because if i know who if i knew who did this then that means that we would have naomi now yeah, and there's def- but I de- I guarantee if the FBI is on to something that makes sense to them right now, guarantee it. You know, I I I believe that I want to believe that, and then and uh, I I hope that we have a quick resolution. I, I mean, uh, I would love to like you know go back to work next week or when or you know like. Just go. You know what you want I to would, do? You want to go like this, <sighs> right? I would because you're not would, be able to do that. You're just holding your breath for like every second all the time. Yeah, yeah. And last night was one of the first times that we've really been able to get very much rest. And uh, it's been a it's been a rough go for sure. Right? And it's hard to describe everything we've been through because it, it's all happened mm-hmm. so fast. It feels like one big, long day. And when I was in the Navy, I, and I was on submarines, and, you know, every every deployment was like one big, long day, and this is like that. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing is, the only thing that I have, you know, one time my brother didn't show up one time when he was supposed to, so I was freaking out, but that was almost irrational, me. But, you know, like, you, uh, pe- for people who have, pets that you love your pet it's not the same i mean so you got to multiply at times like well maybe not because some people love their pets so much that yeah but like your pet runs down is out and you can't find them you get that weird panicky feeling and you're just like oh my god well you know and you're just it's like that times a million yeah that's what i'm saying like yeah yeah it's like that just amplified and you know i had a dog go missing and and he ended up uh being shot by a neighbor you know, and um, and the guy tried to lie about it, and it was like all this big dramatic thing, and um, and that was nothing compared to this, honestly. And I loved that dog, and I had it since it was mm-hmm. puppy, and yeah. I got that dog as soon as I got discharged from the navy, and and everything like, and uh, and I was medically discharged, and it was it was a rough go um, there for a little bit, and that dog was a big part of that, but. Uh, that dog was a big part of me, you know, coming into normal life, and 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 uh, that was the worst thing imaginable with the pet, you know, that the pet was killed, and the guy lied about it, and the guy tried to hide it, and all this stuff, like you can't imagine something worse happening other than some type of torture or something like that, right? But uh, that was nothing compared to this, honestly. Yeah, I mean, geez. nightmare. So I don't want to, you know, keep you on here too long, but I really appreciate you coming on again. And so uh, maybe just describe that thing that slides in the back. That's something new. Yeah, um, more is going to come out about that. I um, and they're going to have uh, pictures. They're actually going to do a press conference um, either tomorrow or on Tuesday, where they're going to have a guy from Chevrolet come and talk about every single thing that's um really special uh, i mean not special but really identifiable yeah, like this unique particular yeah. truck yeah unique then there's there's like i said there's those unique features and they're gonna have in like pictures and yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be a uh exhaustive well you so, also then they also need to like put a bulletin out to body shops who want to f- uh, repair the unique parts you know like all of a sudden well now the guy goes well shit they just mentioned my chrome handles i gotta go get those taken off and replaced right so yeah, yeah and I, honestly i haven't run across anybody that hasn't heard about this uh in my daily business and uh, no one no one i know has either and, and when they have they give them a flyer you know 
so yeah oh, that's awesome i mean it sounds like you got a really uh, great network that's been built up here and probably people that will you know once they you know get naomi back you guys will all be friends with all these people you know what I mean? yeah i hope so i hope i hope so yeah it's awesome yeah well, hey, uh, Casey, I really appreciate you coming on and hope tomorrow brings you some good news and uh, and try to get some sleep tonight, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, and be looking out for those press releases for sure. Will do. We'll put it out there. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye.